Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, yesterday, I didn't get to upload a video. I was having some um, audio issues. Sorry about that. Uh, I did got this MK3, which I was working on yesterday. It had a little bit of content, but I didn't like the audio. I also was working on uh, showing you guys my clutch, but I didn't like the audio on that. I didn't want, really want to do a voiceover. But for today, I'm gonna finish off this um, MK3 Super. I was installing some gauges, so as soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna get back onto probably do the video for the clutch. So I'll show you guys what clutch I'm gonna be running on my 135i and what's gonna be holding in the power. So yeah, um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on with the Supra, and then I'll get back onto the clutch. All right guys, so I got done, I got done with the Supra. I uh, ended up hooking up, finishing up hooking up the gauges. I uh, welded a bung on the downpipe for the Lambda probe, for the AFRs, gauge, the fuel pressure sensor, I ended up doing right on the fuel rail on one of the banjo fittings. So I got that hooked up, and then the boost line, right on one of the vacuum lines over there, also hooked up the max solenoid for the boost controller, and I wired that in. I'll go show you guys real quick how the gauges actually look. So you can see I got the gauges on the A-pillar. They're all working just fine. You can see the AFRs right there. Fuel pressure at 29, AFRs around 14, 14 point something and then you have 19 pounds of vacuum. So what I'm gonna do real quick, um, the customer should be back uh, in a few hours to pick it up. So I'm gonna go test drive it real quick to make sure that the car is running just fine. All right guys, so it's car driving just fine. Um, nothing weird or anything. The gauges are working fine. Um, let me show you guys real quick. Let's see if you guys can see. Like the fuel. AFR and boost. So all the gauges are working just fine. Um, so yeah, just the boost, the boost controller. Um, you can adjust the boost. So I'm probably gonna have the customer adjust it to whatever liking he wants to. Uh, don't really want to mess with his boost settings. But yeah, the Supra is running good. So after taking the car for a drive, the car was uh, fine. Drove it around, no problems. The car is good to go. The customer should be here in a little bit to pick it up. Uh, and the only other thing for today's uh, episode is gonna be, I'm gonna be just gonna show you guys the um, X clutch that I'm gonna be running on the 135i. Uh, and just doing a little weight comparison compared to my IS clutch that I was running before, which took a shit on me and was not holding up the power no more. So yeah, let me show you guys the uh, X clutch twin disc clutch that I'm gonna be running on the 135i real quick. Here it goes. Even if the clutch is running on the 135i, it's a X clutch, a twin disc clutch. And I believe this clutch right here is rated for 1400 pounds of torque. The twin disc clutch is the nine inch uh, twin disc and it's an eight bolt crank. So if you have a newer model N54, you might have a six bolt. So if you're getting a clutch just like this for your car, you wanna make sure you have um, a six or an eight, eight bolt crank order the appropriate one so you can see right here this is the diaphragm compression diaphragm um then you have the first um friction ring you have one clutch right there this there are six foot clutches these are the ceramic clutches so these are if you're going for a little bit more less aggressive uh they can hold a little bit less torque you might want to go with the organic i went with ceramic as this is the one that can hold the most power out of the whole closet they have for the N54s. So I'll put this right here on top of the turbo. And see so you your second one, friction ring. And then you have another one. And then underneath that, you have your flywheel surface and the whole thing, the housing and everything. So yeah, I wanna just put this back together real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys a weight comparison between this clutch right here and the stock IS clutch. First up on the scale is gonna be the stock IS clutch. Weighing in at 19.5 kilograms. So I forgot to change this to pounds. So 19.5 kilograms. I have it on here where that transfers to pounds. Up next is going to be the X clutch twin disc. Weighing in at. 16.7 kilograms. So once again, I'll have on here with a transfer over two pounds. Uh, so you guys can make a little comparison, but just off of that, 
I mean, that's almost three kilograms. So it is a little bit lighter than this, but it's got a whole lot more potential on um, torque capability. So huge, huge improvement over this right here. Um, this one, I believe is rated for 1400 pounds of torque. Um, I'll have the exact part number of this clutch once again on the screen for anybody who's interested in looking into this clutch. Highly recommended. Can't wait to put it on the car and see what it can do. It pretty much it for today for the episode. Um, I kind of only wanted to show you guys a, a brief description of the clutch that I'm going to be using on the 135i and do a weight comparison compared to the stock IS clutch that I was running on my car. Um, I'll have a, another video coming up on that clutch. Uh, a little more in depth and also I'll do that once I'm installing it onto the motor uh, before it goes back into the car. So stay in the lookout for that. Um, yeah, the Super was running just fine. So the customer should be able to pick it up tomorrow. He didn't make it today. So he's gonna be here tomorrow morning to pick that up. I have another car that I'll be working on tomorrow. And also for tomorrow's video, I will be uploading um, some content that I had on me checking the uh, crankshaft I was measuring the rod journals, making sure that the um, crank was still good. So I'll show you guys what I found out as far as that goes and see how I'm going to proceed about rebuilding the motor. All right, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and like. If you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe. I'll have, have a lot more coming up. If you guys have any comments, go ahead and comment. I'll reply to every single comment that I get. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Peace out.